everybody i missed you so much it's been so long since i've uploaded a video it's because i had a vacation in new york and when i went back home i was exhausted and i wanted to take a rest but right now i have the energy to make a video let's go so as you can see in the title we'll be doing that and before we start i just want to put out a disclaimer there are some unfamiliar places you can see in the places below so i'm sure you've not been in some of them and these are just based on my opinions and experiences so don't take them too personally all right let's get to ranking okay so we have like these four different levels from top to bottom we had had so much fun woo which is the highest love it is like had so much fun but it's not as high as that great meaning probably around like mid tier i think and okay is the lowest so here we go so the first place we are going to rate is american museum of natural history oh boy this was a lot of fun actually if you don't know this museum this was the same museum where night at the museum was filmed at so i had the chance to get in there it was amazing and i loved all of the parts in there and the creatures the different stuff it's it's amazing it's really cool i even found gum gum or or dum dum I don't remember the name. It's been so long since I've watched it. But if you haven't watched the movie, please do watch it. I even saw the Roosevelt statue there. Like he was sitting down on one of the lobby seats. So if I had to rank it in this tier list, it has to go to had so much fun. All because of the movie. So the next one is the Statue of Liberty. Well, we actually traveled all the way there by cruise. So it was really fast when we came all the way there because of the wind. And my hair was like blowing so hard. Like, it was like so messy as i came there so wow it was like a blast it was really hot that's the only thing i didn't like and you know up close it was bigger than i've expected which is amazing so i think this has to go to love it because you know it's not as not as big as this one i had more fun in this one this is just reviewing but overall despite the scorching heat i had a lot of fun with it because seeing it up close feels like a minecraft achievement all right so the next one is the headquarters of the united nations i can't go in there of course i can't go in there why would i think i would get in there there are guards there so i just like saw it from like a high view and like in the high view it was so windy like like it was already cold don't get me wrong So, if I had to rank this, I would probably say, I think great. I mean, not really as much as the Statue of Liberty, of course. Alright, so this next one is the Grand Central Terminal. This one was probably one of the most beautiful terminals I've ever seen. I like the zodiacs on the ceiling. I even saw mine over there, Aries, which is amazing. So, this terminal shall be ranked in great. Because I think I've seen way more than that. So the next one is Washington DC. Now, it was actually a tour. Like I went on a tour, I went on a bus. So the three different places we've been into were the White House, the Arlington Cemetery, and the Lincoln Memorial. Well, for the White House, the president was actually in there. I just assumed it because while on the way there, I saw like helicopters going at the same direction. So I assumed that the president's already going home. But it was really good seeing the White House, don't get me wrong. But the rest of it, oh my god, that was... It was so torture because it was so hot. I was in my long sleeve because we would thought it would be really cold for that day. But no, it was like so hot, my gosh. So I couldn't even like go up and down that much. Like even in the Lincoln Memorial, I was like sweating like a lot. 
So I think because of the heat, it made me not really enjoy it much, but at least it made me enjoy some parts of it. So I'll probably rank it in the okay. All right, so the next one is the Brooklyn Bridge. Oh my gosh, this was like really hard to find because we actually got boxed in Brooklyn, but pretty worth it in the end because at least we were able to see it up close. It's a really long bridge. We didn't go all the way back to Manhattan for that, okay? It would have been way more tiring. Oh like it was really really good i even visit like the street art in some areas before that which is really cool i would say so if i were to rank brooklyn bridge i would give it great all right next one is the chrysler building let me tell you about this chrysler building it's probably one of the most iconic places i've been into which was nice i guess but you know the building there it's pretty tall like really tall we didn't actually get inside of it we just took a picture in front of it but overall seeing it up close was nice i'll just put it in the the great section all right next one is central park i've had a photo shoot in there and it was so much fun taking the photos like our photographer even sent the pictures to us a few days after that and oh my gosh her photos like was amazing they were amazing like she edited it out so great of course we did not explore everything because it's really big like obviously it's really big like why would i think i would explore it well i should have a lot of stamina for that but overall it was a really great experience because of the photo shoot so i'm going to put it in love it right next one we have the medieval times dinner and tournament okay it's not in new york but it's in new jersey because that's where i stayed at because you know living in new york is really expensive so we decided to like go there for my parents 16th anniversary and for father's day in advance because we would be leaving at father's day but oh my god that was really fun like when i heard about that place from my parents at first i thought it would just be like a medieval themed restaurant but no i did not read the whole title it was also a tournament oh my gosh like i did not know that was gonna happen like i did not expect it at all but in the end like i was so hyped about it i was screaming i almost lost my voice because of it <laughs> And you know, the actors there were amazing. I loved the fights. I was so hyped. I kept raving my flag. It was amazing. And even I was crowned the queen of tournament despite it being my first time. I was so lucky. I did not know a knight would actually like me. <laughs> Don't put it out of context. And he even tossed me a flower, which is even better. <laughs> No way! Oh, you got it! Let's go! Show the rose! Raise it! No way, bro! So many Ow! And just because I was crowned the queen of tournament, oh my god, I had a lot of fun. It was amazing. I guess probably the most extreme way to celebrate your parents' anniversary. I'll put this in. Had so much fun. Woo! Next one is Spicecape. It's actually me, my dad, and my brother that went in there and it was so much fun, you know? Like doing like these different spy activities and stuff. My favorite one was the laser because it was like so fun. You have to use like a lot of your stamina there. And you know, we just kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth so that we can keep getting our scores there. Like it was so much fun doing that. You know, the least favorite part there was like the observation skill where I had to use my CCTV camera to like, you know, observe. What camera is this? What camera is that? I didn't like it because I was so slow in that, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna rate this. It had so much fun because I had so much fun, obviously, and it's because of the laser part. If you're wondering what role I got, I got an agent handler. All right, so the next one, well, no mean to flex, is the Hamilton place. Yes, guys, I have seen the Hamilton play. Like, this is probably the biggest flex I have right now, but the cast there wasn't the original, but they were still pretty good. While you're watching it, I was like so happy all the way. I even heard my brother lip sync some of the songs, which was even better. But overall, like it was so good. I even know most of the songs because obviously I've listened to it almost every time. So it made the experience much, much better. Like I was even hyped. The crowd was like so hyped during the song where it already ends. We were all giving it them a 
standing ovation too. Like we were clapping already, we're cheering. It was amazing. It's really probably one of my favorite parts in the trip. I really can't stop thinking about it. Really worth it, yet it's really expensive. So if I had to rank it, obviously I had so much fun with it. All right, the next one is the Hershey's World Store. Oh my god, I really love Hershey's. They're my favorite chocolate bar. I love it there. I even got the giant 25 pack. It was yummy. It was awesome. It's delicious. It's like Hershey's but bigger. I even found the world's giant Hershey. I cannot bring it home, obviously. I can't even finish it, you know. But there was also Reese's at that part, which is really surprising because my brother likes Reese's. But overall though, this place was really amazing. I loved it. I loved the Hershey's because of course I love Hershey's. I'm a Hershey lover. So I'll put that in the love it section. The next one is the New York Public Library. So this library is like pretty limited because you know there's some like limited areas you can go to but going there is really nice. I like the structure there. It's really beautiful. I like it. There's like you know different parts of it like study room and stuff. I was able to go into one study room. It was really quiet. Of course it's a library. You have to be very quiet. So I went there. It was really amazing. I enjoyed going in there. Like it was really quiet. A perfect place to study. So I'll put it in the the great section all right so the next one is the intrepid sea air and space museum this is what my brother actually really likes because you know all of the stuff there i think it's more like for the masculine side i think it's his favorite museum in new york so it all made sense for him why he would enjoy it very much he really is into vehicles but overall i like seeing all of the vehicles displayed there all of the airplanes rocket ships and the submarine i even went into a real submarine it was even so tight but really worth seeing it though so i would probably put it in the love it section next one is the harry potter store oh my god this was a very awesome place to be in this was awesome i really loved going here because of course i really love harry potter so when i went there you could see all the merch in there it's amazing there was even a vr i've been into i forgot the name of it but we rode on broomsticks and we could even choose our own avatar and house i picked slytherin as my house i had so much fun in the vr i'm not gonna lie because of the riding on the broomstick stuff so of course i'm gonna rank it and had so much fun next one is the nintendo store the nintendo store is i think probably where i went in during the first day of new york well seeing it up close was really amazing there was all like the nintendo merch in there my brother actually bought something in there i forgot what it was but i know he like what the plush of like a character from mario i forgot sorry i'm not a big fan of mario but you know it was really amazing i really loved the place there it was worth it seeing all of the merchandise there i really love it i really love it so of course i'm gonna rank it in the had so much fun baby okay next one is the empire state building yep we went to the empire state building but we didn't put it like there up close and it's so so tall so yeah like seeing it like up close really really tall really really awesome not really much but so overall it's really nice i really love it i put it in the great section also forgive me though i accidentally placed like two pictures of the place anyway all right next one is dumbo it's also at brooklyn well actually we also got lost <laughs> and you know seeing it from a close is pretty cool also at least i mean nothing too much nothing too special i have nothing really much to say about it not put it maybe in the okay section next one is moma the museum of modern art i mean you know i'm more onto like the traditional side of art but this one was still a good museum i say i mean it was okay i mean it was just like a small museum full of you know art that's already in the modern times already so you know nothing too crazy about it i mean i still prefer traditional over this in my opinion so maybe i'll put it in the okay section next one is the one world observatory that was when i saw the whole new york view like from the buildings to the statue to the empire state building it was a great view when they 
unveil the view now oh my god the view was so amazing i loved every single part of it like you can go around the building that was 360 view of it it was amazing i loved it it was so amazing to look at the view so of course i had so much fun in this one all right so we're down to the second to the last one which is the metropolitan museum of art this was a nice museum. Like, I saw, I love like, the sculptures. I like the statues there. Like, there's the Greece exhibit, the, the Egyptian exhibit. There's also the armor, the weaponry, the paintings too. There's finally the traditional paintings, which I really, really like. And I really love that museum too because, you know, the paintings there, some of them were my aesthetic. I really find them really beautiful. Like, I really prefer traditional paintings as I've said before. Even the statues are amazing. Even like the different stuff in there from the different exhibits there. They're cool. Like, it's really artistic. So, I will put this in. I'll put it in Love It because it's really nice but i still prefer natural history in my opinion because of the movie all right so we're down to our last one the m m's world store this is like hershey's except it's m m's but overall i would say pretty great though but i like hershey's more so i still prefer the hershey's store but if i had to like you know compare it this one was like way bigger because it had like an m m statue as elvis presley <laughs> Like, it's really awesome we even took a picture there. I even got the souvenir coins, which were amazing. Looking at all of the merch there. So, I think I'll put it in the in the love it section because it was a blast seeing that place all right so that's the whole tier list you may look at it for now but i hope that you're having fun watching this and i'm sure that probably your experiences in any of these places are different so feel free to tell me your opinions down below in the comments and since we've already reached the end of the video please like subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and see you guys in my next videos bye bye